Hi, we're back again with the Market Trader Tao, and I'm Bob Calling. And we're going to start out our, finish up this next session on moving averages. Now, we've talked about the 200 moving average and how it sets the long term trend. And we've talked about an equilibrium. And we've also talked about the 55 and the, uh, the, the 21 moving average and how it sets the speed of the market in relation to the 200 equilibrium. And we've also talked about the 5 and the 10 moving average and how the combination of those two moving averages will um, set up the momentum of the price action in relationship to the, to the, the 21 and 55 moving average. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to pull all this thing together for a, a big final video on this particular section, but we're going to continue to talk about a lot of other things. This is just the beginning of setting up a, a, a learning how to trade, and the next the next features will be the uh, the the support and resistance zones that, uh, that that we'll be talking about the highs and the highest lows and why price moves back to certain areas and why price moves away from those areas. And so that'll be the next series of videos and the next series of charts. When you go on to my website, you'll see, you know, computer generated charts, but it's very important right now that you get the concepts of what we're talking about when we talk about basics, fundamentals, moving averages, and how they work in relationship to each other. Very difficult to show that on a chart sometimes. Sometimes you have to draw them out and show some pictures and, and do the kind of things I'm doing. So on my website at, at nebosanblogspot.com, you can go on to that and you can, you can kind of match up the, the computer generated charts that actually come off a real live uh, trading platform and, and then, you know, to match up with these videos, and that'll be a complete training program for you. Now, let's get on with this right now. Let's get a little bit closer to this. Now, right now, we're talking about, we have already established the 200 moving average, which is way over here, and this dotted red line represents that 200 moving average. And we've also already put in the 50 moving average, which is the blue line right here. And the black dotted line is that actually is the price action for this period of time. Now, what's very important here, if you'll notice, is the crossovers. So you've got your, your, your 200 moving average, the price is moving at this point away from the 200 moving average or along with it, but away from it. And the 50 moving average is moving along with the 200 moving average. And the, the, the solid red line is the 21 moving average. And you'll notice that right here, where the 200, the 50, and the 21 all come together, you have a key crossover point. That's an, a very excellent point right there to consider either exiting the market or uh, selling short, if you, are, if you understand what short selling is, and we'll get into that later if you don't. Now right here is an excellent point, right here where the price action has bottomed out, it's based it's up and down a couple of times, and now the, the 20 moving average is moving up through the 50, and the 50 is heading toward the 200. It's a very, very good, comfortable, conservative place to consider entering this market right here at this crossover. Now, the price will continue to move up and then it'll start to move back down. You have another crossover right here where your 50 and your 20 cross. And then you have another crossover right here moving back up toward the 200 where you have the 50 and the 20 and then up here you also have the potential of something else beginning to develop out here at the end of this chart. 
Now, once you once you've established that, we move down. We move in very closely to the uh, to the to the five and the ten moving average. And what that does is it's kind of like a, a you, you use the the the, the fifty five and the uh, and, and the twenty one to establish the trend and which way the market is trending. And then you use the five and the ten, just like you you line up the sights of a scope. You know you you line those sights up on a rifle, and then you take your shot. Now what you're trying to do is you're trying to get all of those indicators to agree and cross together in the same direction. So what happens here is that up here you'll see the uh, the, the ten will, will move right up into here and start to cross down. <clears throat> you don't want to go in here because this is not a good place to go at. Um, and then you're going to have, and that 10 is going to continue to move on down through here once the 10 and the 5 cross together and agree, your, your, your 5 is going to be moving up through here like this and once they all cross, you've got your, your 5, you've got your 10, you have your 21 and your uh, you're 50, and they're all kind of grouped up there like a little bow tie together. That's when you want to pull the trigger. Now, then you'll notice that, that as as your 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 price moves down through here, this this 10 is going to pretty much stay inside that 20, and it's really not going to cross back over to the 50 until you get right into here. And that 5, all at the same time, is moving right along with that 10, and it's coming back up and sort of crossing over, and coming back up and sort of crossing over, and coming back up, but it never, never really crosses the 50. Once you get back to that 50, and all three, all four, are in agreement again, and they're all moving in the same direction, that's when you want to pull the trigger again. And the same thing <clears throat> over here. So it, it's, uh, it goes through this whole cycle over and over and over again. The, uh, the, 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 the 5 and the 10. So even on a smaller scale, if you really look at this, you'll have your, your price action moving up like this, and then it'll start to move down and it'll try to retrace a little bit and it'll start to move down. Well, what you want to do is you're trying to catch when that when that uh, when that 10 moves up through here, it moves back down, that 5 is going to be crossing with that 10 at certain points. Okay, like this. <clears throat> 